First and foremost, thank you for clicking on today's video. Hit the subscribe button if you are not a member of the Brick Squad, and if you're not, I think this is gonna be a fun video. I think the key to long-term, long-term, which should be everyone watching this is goal, long-term success with weight loss, you have to be balanced. Me personally, I eat some sort of what most people would call junk food every single day. It maintains my sanity. It keeps my body, uh, I can't explain what it does to my body, but it makes me feel better versus when I just eat 100% clean. Don't know the science behind that, but I feel better. I don't feel like I'm deprived, right? As human beings, when we feel deprived, we naturally rebel against that feeling. It's just something that's innate in us that we do not enjoy. Really briefly, I wanted to let you guys know about the best comprehensive fitness program on the internet. You won't find a more complete package of information anywhere. It's broken down into three categories, mindset training, nutrition, and resistance training. It's literally helped thousands of people transform their bodies. Click the link in the description to get more information. I promise you, you won't regret it. So just know in order to lose weight, you have to create a caloric deficit. You don't have to stop eating potato chips completely. Now, it also depends on your personality. If you're an addictive personality, you take it overboard. You can't just have three Oreo cookies. You gotta eat three sleeves at them jumps. Then hmm, this may not apply to you. But if you're like most people, you have somewhat enough discipline to be sensible. I suggest you trying to incorporate some sort of palatable food that you will enjoy every single day. Like I'll eat a bag of potato chips, or I'll eat a few cookies, or I'll throw in a few M&Ms or Skittles every single day. And the key to doing that is counting your macros. And not just counting your macros, but counting them accurately. It's almost impossible to lose weight long-term. Now I'm talking about if you have a significant amount of weight to lose and you wanna get down into the low teens to single digit percentage of body fat, then it's impossible for you to do that if you don't at least for a period of your journey track your calories and track your macros. Calories being the most important. Don't bog yourself down too much with macros, especially in the beginning of your journey. Focus mostly on your calories and then as you start losing more and more weight and you start getting to the finish line, right, when you want to start dropping your body fat percentage a little bit lower so you can start revealing abs, then that's when you start thinking about macros. But if you're in the beginning, focusing on just developing calorie awareness will take you a long way. What I've learned, right, when I deprive myself too much, I lose my mind, like literally. I remember one time I was preparing for a show and I literally ate chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli for two months straight. And I, and this may sound like an exaggeration, I legit almost ended up in a mental institution. It literally drove me crazy. Ah! Once I discovered if it fits your macros, <sighs> I'm such an advocate for tracking macros and finding ways to eat the foods that you enjoy and still lose body fat. Here's the thing, y'all. This is about calories. It is about calories. Yes, the quality of your calories matter, but not as much as the amount of calories. My suggestion, and this is what I do personally, I focus on making sure that I'm eating the right amount of calories. Now there's tons of calorie counters on the internet and they're, they're getting better. They're getting more accurate. I've noticed that over the years. I choose three calorie calculators and then I average it out. I start there. I observe my body. All right, let's see how my body responds to 2,300 calories after eating that for a week and a half or two weeks. If I'm not noticing body, my body fat dropping, if I'm not noticing that my strength is increasing, if something's off, then I tweak it. And that's the thing, the calculators are not gonna give you the exact number for you. There's a lot of experimentation involved. There's a lot of trial and error involved. The goal for those calculators is to find a good place for you to start. The term balance gets thrown around all over the place, right? But it's so important. And this doesn't just apply to nutrition, it applies to everything, to work, it applies to your relationship. You have to have a balance because if, you, if, if something's off balance, 
then it usually tips and falls. Yeah. The same thing with your nutrition, and especially if you wanna make this a long-term thing. You're trying to change your relationship with food. You wanna lose weight, but you don't wanna do anything drastic that you're not gonna be able to continue to do in order to maintain the weight you lose, right? So just keep it in mind, the point of this whole entire video is tracking your calories, tracking your macros is super important. This will allow you to sneak in some cookies or a bag of chips or a bowl of cereal every now and then. Those foods are not off limits. I remember thinking that those foods were gonna make me fat. No, it's not those foods that make you fat, is when you eat too much of those foods that's what makes you fat. Shout out to the Brick Squad as always. I love you guys. Make sure you guys leave this video a big thumbs up. And as always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.